It's Drunk vs. High Field Day. My name's Keith, and I'm ready to party. <laughs> no, it's still chasing me! Oh. oh, this is my nightmare. <laughs> we are running a Drunk vs. Stone obstacle course. Fast as you can! Wow! We're getting drunk. Your teeth are a little small. All right, bro. <laughs> We're getting high. We're seeing what does what to who and how. What happens to us up here when we get crazy down here? Oh, yeah! It's once again time for science. Barely science. You know what's interesting? This is the first time in a while that I've actually drank with Eugene, because normally he'll find someone more interesting to talk to. Excuse me. My name is Jay Mahajan. I'm a general neurologist. And today we'll be talking about the effects of alcohol on the brain. This is the first episode of our two-part series, Drunk versus High Obstacle Course. Everyone when they are drunk way overestimates their abilities. We wanna find out how wrong are you? <laughs> We have two experts who are going to speak from a scientific perspective. We built a huge obstacle course in our office. We're gonna run it drunk, and then in the next video, we're running it high to compare which of these substances made us better, which made us worse, and in general, if either of them are a superior thing to do during an elementary school field day. <laughs> when you drink alcohol, the brain begins to function in a different manner. Did somebody say drink? Hey! Oh, wow, that's a lot of, that's way more than we need. I do think that I am the most unaffected by alcohol. Zach never gets drunk. We think of Eugene as like the drinker. I absolutely drink more than Eugene. To you, Eugene. To Eugene. Oh, just me? Yeah. To you. To you. I don't drink as much now. I really didn't drink that much. We're still very fresh on like being more aware of how bad alcohol is. It's bad. <laughs> Burns the uh, it hurts. esophagus. I do not drink alcohol. Uh, stopped drinking alcohol a couple years ago because of my achy bones. Ugh, f me. I don't know who I am when I get drunk. You boys want to put on some Pitbull? Your what teeth you are saw. so white. Are they more white than normal? Yours are so white. You Let take great mind. I don't, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no! I drink a lot of coffee and red wine. Well, maybe yeah. he's standing in the light. If you stand there, you're good. Yeah, let's trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're not great. I agree. I agree. This is a very chill drinking atmosphere, and I think we're going to need to ramp it up. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be young forever. <laughs> But first, this is science. Today we are going to do a sober control run, so that way you can see a controlled, sober approach to all of these games, and then how we are drunk when doing the same exact activity. We're scientists. Welcome to what's shaping up to be a truly epic event, the Try Guys Drunk vs. I Obstacle Course Challenge. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Eisman. And I'm Mark Barbaja Miller. and I can't believe we actually agreed to be here today, but here we are. Now, before the guys get absolutely goat pissed, they're gonna run the course completely sober. Yeah, that's right, and this is to let us see how truly terrible they are at some of these activities. Well, speaking of terrible, here they come now, the Try Guys. How are you feeling going into this? The way I'm thinking of this today is this is my birthday party. So oh, I'm happy birthday. Thank you very happy much. Birthday. I'm excited. What is the point of hopscotch? To Hopping. teach children how to use their feet. I'm about to do my sober run. My approach is just like Keith. Me like my birthday party as a kid. Happy birthday. Happy it birthday. was the Hunger Games and I was Katniss Everdeen. I've only read the, the newest one about Cor Coriolanus Snow. Cor Cor Cornelius. Coriolanus? Coriolanus. I thought it was Cornelius. <laughs> Coriolanus. Definitely not Coriolanus. Donald Coriolanus. Sutherland. It's Coriolanus. <laughs> There's no way that's right. You might, you might it's be right, yeah. Coriolanus. <laughs> I already looked it up How because Becky was like, there's no way it's pronounced Coriolanus. I'm like, it's Coriolanus. Well, because it has anus in it. It's C O R C O R. This is the sober run, y'all. L A N. It does have anus. Coriol in it. Coriol so it does have anus. anus. It has Coriol anus. Coriol? That's, anus. That's hard for your kid. Stop arguing with me. I know. <laughs> His name is Coriolanus Snow. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be Coriolanus Snow and I'm gonna get these Hunger Games started. Our contestants will begin the course by testing their physical prowess on the playground of pain. First, they'll traverse a mind-bending hopscotch grid. 
Then head on to the basketball court to hit a free throw. Next, they'll pull two blocks from the uneven stack of giant Jenga. Then sink an uphill putt on an impossibly bumpy green. I would love to see someone start this way for real and do hopscotch. How, All right. how could this be effective for I'm hopscotch? I'm so excited for this. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> I know on a baseline, I'm probably just like a little bit more advanced than the other two when it comes to coordination. Sober! Yeah. Use those feet! Eh, eh, Use eh, those eh, feet! Eh. Hot scotch. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah! I think I can run the whole course in three minutes. I don't know if I'll be good at the basketball. I haven't shot a basketball in years. Why would I? All right, so he's shooting until he gets Arm it. under the ball. Almost. Nice. <laughs> Where would I even find a basketball? Target? <laughs> Called an air ball. Oh! oh. No. Damn it! <laughs> I feel like he should be have to go run after the ball. I should you're, have to get the doing, ball, you're right. Yeah. Come on, you, you got, got dribble, it. Keith. I, you have to dribble. If, if I keep throwing the same way, you think eventually it'll work? So running an obstacle course can really vary person to person. If you're sober, we expect you to have good coordination. I've been playing like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> good reaction times. Oh boy. All, All right, right. Zach, first try. Oh, this is uh, my nightmare. Run. Yeah! Not bad, not bad. As far as hand-eye coordination, you should be able to run the obstacle without any issues. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you, got you, you can zone in and you can pace yourself appropriately. Everybody wants to base how good you are in society, how good you are at basketball, and you it's never like... apply the basketball skills to real life. What about when you do your taxes? Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Eugene. Yeah! I hated basketball because my stupid little- Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. He's the best! <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Jenga, Keith, Jenga. 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 You know, Rachel said she's never played Jenga. That's crazy. How is that even possible? I'm playing hard rules. You gotta commit to whatever block you choose. Are, are you only allowed to use one hand? I think you're supposed to commit to the one you touch. What but... do you mean? All right, oh, go. Just like, in control. You're in a movie. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> How am I out of breath from mini golf? Yeah! You know, Keith is an aggressive sober. New ball, Jack, new ball! What are you holding all those other balls for? I think the, I think the basketball made Just him give me sad, all the man. balls. <laughs> Keith, basketball's over, you got this. Damn it! <laughs> I believe you said the vibe was Shit. your birthday vibe, and no. you're having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost, almost. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> the worst birthday is harder than we intended it to be. All right, we're nearing the 10 minute mark. <laughs> that was not nearly hard enough. I know, but it's really hard to gauge, Zach. Yeah! <laughs> Where are you going, we're Keith? Going in there. In for the next stage, they'll enter the mind maze, where they'll perform stand-up to try to get a laugh from the unbreakable MJ. And then they'll enter a spelling bee until they successfully spell one word. Sorry about that. Oh shit. Uh, I haven't thought of I haven't thought about this. Oh no. Uh <laughs> What did, what did Spider-Man, why did Spider-Man cross the road? Because MJ! <laughs> How many wizards does it take to screw in a light bulb? Depends on if they're light or dark wizards. Um, who, who hates Mondays and loves lasagna? <laughs> Andrew Garfield. <laughs> okay, now I'm on board. I'm very into this. Okay, I got it. How about how many Dungeons and Dragons does it take to screw in a light bulb? Roll to find out. <laughs> oh yeah, we did it! Uh, who? <laughs> where can you um, see some windmills? <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a Spider-Man I know, that was excellent. MJ, I'll give you 50 bucks if you laugh right now. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna nail this one. Your word is mosquito. Raspberry. <laughs> R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Raspberry. D-A-N-D-E-L-I-O-N. -E Dandelion. I am so scared that I got it wrong. Oh M-O-S-Q-U-I-T. Oh, mosquito. 
pretend you look like an adorable little lad while doing it. Yeah, I do that river lad. dance. Patients will be put to the test as they proceed to motor skills madness, where they'll decorate a cake, flip a cup, thread a needle, and tie a necktie on someone else. What am I drawing? I'm drawing, draw my favorite pet. You got a pet, Keith. I, it's Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Matt always accuses me of favoring Kimbap. So I'm gonna draw Kimbap. Kimbap would probably eat the cake. Man, Bowie's hard to fucking. How do you, what does he even Beautiful, you'll never capture his beauty. He's got a round face. That's not really what his face looks like, is it? He's got floppy ears. That looks like a little girl with pigtails. Piercing eyes. It's an elephant for <laughs> You Shit, it does look like an elephant. <laughs> Alfred. I love you, buddy. I find it interesting that we have a hey. real cake, but a fake top. Yeah? Is that, is, how do we know if we're done? So I'm artistically Great. satisfied? Yeah. Oh, flip cup. I don't you know, really know how to chug. It's a thing that I've never been able to do. So open, I, and open up your gullet. I can't do it. I hold water in my mouth and then swallow. Ooh. I did that too. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Why is your mouth closed? Is there, have you not swallowed? <laughs> Yay! I've never done this. <laughs> Definitely done this. Yeah, we have so many videos of us sewing. Have I done this? Oh god, it's so much more nerve-wracking than even normal. Don't shit. You got a key. You gonna say don't shit? Um, man. <laughs> Is that the same one that I like? <laughs> Maybe. Did we cut it or did we just wrap it back up? Oh f yeah! Yeah! Okay. Oh, nice. oh my god. Okay. Now it's time. I don't think I could do this at all. No. Tie it on me. I feel like um, I'm about to go to prom and he's my dad. Oh, dad. And then he finds out it's a guy coming in the door and then he disowns me. <laughs> no, I would never. Keith, would, why would you? I would love you no matter who you, you love. You so. heard it here first, Keith, it's homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, daddy. You ready to go to gay prom? Yeah. Dad, my date's gonna be here any second. F your date. I'm gonna be the date. You're not gonna f*** my date. That's my plan. That's no, a, that's I, a I, could go to, I can go to my gay prom in this. The ultimate test is the final gauntlet, where they'll run across a balanced beam, knock down seven cans on the Nerf shooting range, and rush outside to pop every balloon on the way to the finish line. I'm too tall for this. What do you mean? You just have to pretend. Oh man, this is so much harder than I expected it There's to be. No way. <laughs> Balance! Wow, he's so balanced. Nice. This is my favorite. You got this. Get those cans. Those cans kill my dad! Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! Oh god, it's so scary. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Yay! Yes, Zach, you got this! Yes. Yay! 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 Come on! Yay! Oh! oh my god! Jesus, that one was loud. Jeez! That was it awesome. All right, that was a sober run. <laughs> I'm, I'm f***ing turgid right now. I feel great. Turgid? Yeah. You're hard? And time. No way. I was so much faster than Eugene. That was like two, two minutes. 10 minutes, 49 seconds. Dang, how much of that was basketball? <laughs> I feel embarrassed about the basketball. Look, I don't really. Yeah, you made me turgid. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how we are when we're drunk. My forehead's got wrinkles. Do you yeah. think I'll age nicely or bad? Because all the the TikTok filters did not forecast a blue future. I think you're aging nicely. How do you think I'm aging, Eugene? You're younger than us, and that's a surprise yeah, that's to some the thing. people. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> When you drink alcohol, there's something called the blood-brain barrier that is supposed to protect the brain, actually, and if larger molecules may not be able to cross over, but alcohol is one of the ones that can cross over. Wait, you gotta make a wish? <laughs> I have to make a wish, duh. <laughs> what was your wish? When the alcohol reaches the brain, there are five neurotransmitters that are affected. GABA, 
endorphins, serotonin, glutamate, and dopamine. And dopamine actually plays a role in pleasure. We're gonna play compliment telephone. No, he's gonna talk in my ear. Yeah. I will be talking in your ear. We start to kind of experience that buzz. We start feeling good. <laughs> Don't do the hot breath thing, though. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Make it cold. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> You're right. If I no talk more, like little... I'm trying to blow off my suit, let me see if I can say this as if I'm trying to blow soup off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull off the yeah. soup. But not with a lot of wind. Okay. He said, Zach says, you think I'm an artistic, beautiful vision, and there are more words and I can't remember them. Yeah. I don't remember what I said. Yeah. I have to be so bad. When you drink alcohol, the liver uses an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase to break down the alcohol. Do you guys want to do a bathroom shot? Yes. Which essentially causes alcohol to become carbon dioxide and water. At the club. Cheers off of the urinal. Is this a Chicago thing? Did I do it in Chicago? Yes. Is it a Chicago thing? I don't think they'd claim it. And so that's how it gets excreted out of your system. And that's why when you drink a ton of alcohol, you actually start to urinate to get the alcohol out of your system. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to Jack. Ooh, toilet! The dangerous ways people consume alcohol are primarily binge drinking. Wow, look at him go. Point one, two. We did it. As we get older, the effects that binge drinking has on your body are not the same as when we were younger. I like the saxophone approach. Yeah. That can't be right. <laughs> what is it? Point oh six. The alcohol levels reach such a high level that your body is not able to metabolize and break down the alcohol effectively. You're getting drunker and drunker and drunker while you're able to break down the alcohol slower and slower and slower. That's probably higher. That's probably yeah. higher. <laughs> If you're two to three times the legal limit, that's where it can get dangerous in terms of depressing your brainstem and your ability to, to breathe. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Try not to binge, drink water in between, always have a designated driver, maybe a designated friend to watch you or help pace you may not be a bad thing. Let's play the game. I'm Keith. I'm Zach, and we love two things. Sports and, and liquid, liquid IV. The hydration multiplier. You know you can find me down at the local rec center, shooting the rock and scoring some points. And when I'm working up the sweat, I gotta get that hydration back in my body. Multiplier. 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 And what better way to do it than with liquid IV. It's a field day of its own. <clears throat> Drinking one hydration multiplier hydrates you faster than water alone. Water could, could never. By itself. Or it can, just I, it's just not, not as, as much. fast. It's got three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink. When I say three, you say times. Three, three times, times, three times. times. On Saturday night, you can catch me getting electrolytes. Electrolytes are good. You need them after you work out and after you puke. It's got 100% of your daily value of essential B vitamins. B3, B5, B6, B12. And be kind to yourself. Just use code TRYGUYS for 30% off your entire order. <sighs> Whoa, where'd that 30% go? It's gone. Now back to the obstacles. All right, well this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Now that the guys are all liquored up, they're ready to take on the course once again. You know, frankly, I don't see how they could do any worse. Let's remind the folks at home how they did in their sober run. Yeah, Eugene led the way with a time of eight minutes and four seconds, but really struggled to get a laugh out of MJ. Indeed, Zach was next clocking in at 9.36, but as with most things in his life, he made everything look difficult. And Keith's time of 10 minutes, 49 seconds was by far the worst time we've seen. Eating that entire Cheesecake Factory menu last week seems to have really caught up to him, Matt. Well, let's head to the obstacle course, but remember kids, drink responsibly and don't try this at home. These guys are in their 30s and shouldn't be doing this either. Like I horses. respect horses. I like a horse. Well, you gotta, or else they'll, they'll, they'll kill you. They'll kill you. Horses could kill you like that. Horses could absolutely kill you. I feel like the crew. I, I feel like the crew hates us. From. I feel like the crew hates us. Of course they do. We're idiots. My name's Keith, and I'm ready for party. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did he say he's running among a mining? Uh, no, Matt, he is slurring badly. Zach is back. Uh, and this is the peacock prance. Look at him showing his plumage. 0. 0.16. 0. 0.16. Wow, that's double the legal limit. Okay. Count down. Three, Three two, two, one. Go! Starting on the hopscotch. Okay. Oh, nice, I nice. Go. Pick it up. Boom, boom, boom. Two of them are at the same time. What do you mean? Well, look at this. The judges are objecting, big man. Wait, wait. Let's go back to the replay on this. He hit it just like he was no, supposed to. No, that was a tap, tap. It was tap, tap. I saw it. You it tap, was tap. indeed it was a tap, tap. Replay. You tap, man, tap. That was not a tap, tap. Mm, mm, mm hmm. Yeah, we'll allow it. He will allow this. Oh, I think he actually did fine the first time. Well, now it's time for Eugene. Three, two, one. Fast feet out of Eugene. Nice. I like that coming out of the blocks hard. Wow. Hard and fast. Oh, he didn't mess around. Uh, okay. I see you, Eugene. Just like the luck of the Irish. <laughs> Air ball. When you drink alcohol, the brain begins to function in a different manner. I, I feel like no, I, no, 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 no. I don't have any back. motivation. No, Keith, Keith, <laughs> Keith. Running the course inebriated may entail issues with coordination. <laughs> your vision can be affected and also your response times. No! Alcohol in general can make your muscles weak. This here's the backwards drunk shot. Should I jump? Yeah, Is that what people do? No, 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 no. Okay. This here's the drunken blah blah blah. It's so bright. Yeah! Ah shit. There you go, yeah. Wait, you, know they, you know what they do in the TV? They go like this. Down, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! TV like teaches TV. you everything you need to know. Going on the Jenga. Uh -oh. Well, he's got to make up for a lot of lost time. <sighs> you. I see you, Eugene. <laughs> wow, can we take a look at that again? That was quick. <laughs> wow, Eugene working his magic. Hey, man, I will say, though, his pullout game is strong. Wow, that was sick as I don't know which one to choose. This one, it seems out. Oh, God, I got it. It looks like it could be a structural this beam. This is really in there. It's like in there. <laughs> Matt, he's really struggling. <laughs> I didn't pull out all my knife. Man. Oh, no! And Keith realizes <laughs> his dreams of a championship may just have gone down in blocks. Yeah, Matt, but he's wasting time. He's got to get going. I just couldn't get out of there. It felt like a really integral beam but I had to commit to the one I had. So as the amount of alcohol goes up, some of the fine motor skills become harder. Essentially alcohol can affect the cerebellum. That's a part of the brain that will affect your motor skills in that sense. It's okay, it's okay. You're very red. <laughs> You're a red man. You know what, you can redeem yourself. You, you, you can do I the golf. the second one. You can do the golf real well. Okay, well, that wasn't exactly how I planned. Keith, Keith. Keep, keep, keep. And he's a little tiger boy. There we go. Yeah. Here he is on the putt putt. Oh. Almost. Oh, that was close, big man. That one is almost. Eugene, you gotta. There it is. Use your head. There it is. All right, now he's gotta just get it right there. No, right on the tip. That felt so sad. Just nice, line it up. That was too much. Oh. That's too much heat. That was. Perfect aim, but too much. Bob Barker is turning over in his grave right now. Oh my oh, God! Oh, drains oh, it! Oh, yeah. Boy, Eugene touched my butt. Well, now he's got a nice sprint going through. Let's see this comedy game. MJ! Oh, oh tricky, is. tricky, tricky sounding. Tricky sounding. It's just <laughs> tricky sounds, too. Stupid, tricky sounds, too. Well, Eugene leaning into the impressions game. Apparently, MJ not a fan of Lord of the Rings. Katy Perry, what's going on? Matt, this is corny. Okay, how about, <laughs> how about Madonna? Hey, where is she right now? You know? Matt, he's just saying random things. This is not comedy, this is drama. You ever had a sour worm? I got this. I got this. I got this. One of the things that really separates um, stand-up from comedy music is the music. 
Well, this is just painful, big man. I uh... um, one of the things that separates macaroni and cheese from spaghetti is the shape of the noodle. We're not quiet because we ran out of words. We're quiet because we're falling asleep. I love when a comedy show turns into spoken word. There are two offerings. And they're inside the oven. And then one of the ovens turns the other and says, Ah, it's so hot. And the other one says, Ah, oh, talking muffin. And then a third muffin looks at them and says, Now kiss. <laughs> Got her! MJ laughed because she was confused. He dropped himself, folks! Well, can I have the word I'm gonna spell? Enchantment. Oh my god, sing a song from Enchanted. It's a statement of a great man with enchantment gum. <laughs> we got there! We got there! When you drink, you tend to take more risks because you tend to be more impulsive. And that has to do with the neurotransmitters in your brain. All right, what's up everybody, how we doing? You tend to not think about what you're gonna do appropriately and have that overconfidence to say, hey, I can do this without a problem. You wanna get out there? Please! Please, MJ, please! Please! Please, MJ, please! Please! F yeah. So decision making becomes a little more difficult when you have more alcohol in your system. Who the fuck? Your word is enchantment. Enchantment. James Marsden. When drunk, you may feel confused. E-N-C-H. Those synapses, they're not firing like they normally do. A-N-T-E-M-E-M-T. -E oh! Y'all see that? However, everyone responds differently. The word is bugaboo. For example, some people drink Jägermeister and they get out of control. B-U-G-A-B-O-O. -O. Yeah, no, wait, you wanna... Put your number on the call block, tell AOL to make my emails stop because you are boo. Bedlam. B-E-D-L-A-M. Bedlam. Oh my! Okay, It good. is Bedlam on the course! Wow, he's crushing it. I'm soaking wet! With no regard to the microphone he's wearing. Let's go! Decorating a cake. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta be in it to win it. Draw how you're feeling. B. A. C. <laughs> Bat. Does that even count, big man? How's my hair look? And I'm dripping wet. I'm dripping wet, baby. Yes, Zach. How am I feeling? I think I have to find out how I'm feeling. He is taking way too much time to draw this out. Is he drawing the state of California? Matt, I think he's drawing California. No, it's a meat cleaver. I'm feeling 100. That's a skateball machine and the corner pockets are 100. <laughs> You get it? I'm feeling 100. I've seen more intentional painting out of Pablo Picasso. <laughs> okay, that was that. Now it's time to flip cup. So as alcohol enters your system, you may build that confidence when you're playing flip cup or, or beer pong. Oh, okay. Oh, there, there goes the water. Splash. No, you don't. Okay. Ah. And that occurs because those endorphins start kicking in and the dopamine starts kicking in. So you start having this confidence. He's so wet. He's soaking wet. <laughs> he's like, I'm way wetter than I thought he was. <laughs> to be honest, I'm looking at him and he's, I don't know how he poured it all on the left side of his body. <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> it's only on one side. You can actually zone in a little bit better and, and sink that cup or flip that cup. Maybe weigh it down. Actually, you want it around the rim. That actually helps you to a certain degree. But once you get through game two, three, four, then you start noticing you have more difficulty sinking that cup. It becomes a little bit more difficult. Keith, you got this, you got this. Pinky up. Keith, this is what we talking about. Bitch. You can do this, you can do this. Oh, so close, you got it, second try. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you'd be drinking and sometimes you just gotta absolutely. <laughs> so as the amount of alcohol goes up, some of the fine motor skills become harder. Very nice. I hate everybody. I thought you were threatening it in oh your mouth, God. which I was like, that is the 
coolest party trick of all time. Your fine motor skills will be affected to a greater degree than your gross motor skills. Simple things like writing or threading a needle, that becomes difficult sooner typically than gross motor skills. It's like hitting a golf ball with a golf club. Oh, I did it! Oh, I literally did it. You didn't do it. What hand am I supposed to hold the fucking thing in? Your right hand. Dominant the needle is the dominant hand? Or no, the your thread is the dominant thread. Shit, this is tough. Is it hanging on my lip? I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This I'll eat it, I'll eat it, I'll eat it. You don't have to eat it. It's it's wheat. It's wheat? It's not wheat. Thread is wheat? I got it. I just... Oh, oh hell yeah, there we go. Thread is wheat? My clothes yeah. aren't gluten free? <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> you look like you like fell into a pool and you're trying to convince everybody you're fine. Uh, I'm okay, I promise. <laughs> Honestly, the, the drunk gave me the, the clarity I had been looking for. It's still from a silkworm butt. All it's, silk, it's, that seems. It's not even butt, it's like to kill the worms. Wow. I know, it's not what you think it is. Okay, we gotta start over. <laughs> Okay, we gotta start over. You gotta, I guess you can go that way. And now the balance test, big man. Oh, he's got those big old platform hokas on. He should be able to hold himself up. Let's go, you big body. Keith, this give us kind of the, your, tough. your, give us your megawatt smile. But the clock continues to tick. Akbar, I just want to see some urgency out of him. This is tough. I'm so big, I'm so big. I actually, I'm very confident now. Yeah, you got it. I'm so confident. It has been all or nothing with Zach. There it is, that was sick, that was sick with Zach. But the clock just melting away. He's cool, Keith. I'm cool, Keith. Cool, calm, collected. When I'm cool, people call me Steve. <laughs> Matt, this is poor clock management. Wait, you know what? What? You're doing very bad. <laughs> Hot, there's water in my eye. I bet. <laughs> I'm really aiming right at it. There it goes. The toy. Oh, there's one. Here we go, we're on a roll now. There it nice. goes. Pow, pow! Yeah. Oh! oh! Barely got it! It's time oh, to get it. the last oh, tan without even get looking! Get it, get it, you got it! No, no, you gotta look at it with your eyes. Without even looking! That's no, 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 look at it. Without looking! No, dude, without even looking! Yeah. <laughs> I looked oh, before. Look. Pow, pow! Yeah. Pow! Yeah! Pow, pow! Crushing it! We are sending the wrong message. <laughs> no, you gotta go the other way, Zach. We're sending the right message. <laughs> no, it's not chasing me! Stop it! Stop it! Wait, we're both Asian. So drinking alcohol safely is really about pacing yourself. Let's make a deal. Everyone else here. Well, I guess there's no deal like one, one could make with another Asian person about being on his film set. As fast as you can! As fast as you wow. can! As fast as you can, it's fast as you can. Oh man, I really thought I was gonna get it. Yes, yes. Yeah, make yourself dizzy, that's good. <laughs> Without the needle. Yeah, just clap, there you go, yeah, yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Nope, nope, <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. Get a cool pose, get a cool pose, get a cool pose. Get a cool pose. Get a cool pose. No, cool, do cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do what we want? Well, an incredible competition and an even better PSA against alcohol. Let's take a look at the final scores. Yeah, Eugene's drunk time of 9 minutes 36 seconds is a substantial fall from his sober time of 8 minutes and 4 seconds. A little bloom is when it's big. Oh, oh my dick! <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Zach was the only guy who improved during his drunk run with a time of 8.28, but he's soaking wet right now, and that's exactly the kind of regrettable decision a sober person would avoid. I fear how confident I am. I would do anything to win. I feel good, I feel cold. It's wet, I'm wet and there's wind. And I'm cold and I would like a blanket. Now, Keith was bad sober. He was worse drunk. His time of 1441 is by far the worst of the day, and he's gonna be feeling this tomorrow for sure. I felt like it went well. Like, I feel like a winner, but I'm thinking <laughs> back to it. I think I did really bad. 
but I felt good. Well, from all of us here at the Drunk vs. I Obstacle Course Challenge, we want to remind you to drink responsibly. And we'll see you next episode when the guys will try to beat these scores while high. And remember, kids, this is for science, and alcohol may be a chemical, but it's never a solution. You heard. Ow! Bet that doesn't feel good. No, no. It was right on the right on the front part. The forward facing aspect. No. No, it's fine. Do you want to check you out? No, Make it's sure not okay. even like a fucking bit. That fucking hurt. Yeah, of I course bet. it did. It's an external organ. It's a foolish design. God. What kind of God puts an organ outside? Huh? What kind of God puts the organs on the outside? Would you leave a piano in the rain? No. Don't put an organ outside.